they weren't they weren't adequate for us. So guess what we gonna do? Y'all ready for this? We gonna build our own venue. And when I say venue, this right here is a part of it where you all are at right now. But when I say we're gonna build our own venue, it's gonna be Piedmont uh, Centennial Backyard all included in some more. I mean, we, we, we here in Atlanta, Georgia, but we the whole state of Georgia at so y'all just keep up with it. So listen, if y'all can see this, open up your minds, open up your spirit, you know, open up your hearts, and imagine a venue that has everything that we need to be excellent, everything that we need to create, everything that our youth need, everything that our seniors need, like everything that you see in any venue anywhere, we're going to get us 300 acres of land and we're going to build that. Build, we build, build. It. I know you believe, I know you do because you're clapping. That's what we're going to do. And I'm not going to spend too much more time on I just wanted to really share that with y'all because we're going to have here, anybody ever heard of Motown? Yeah. That's going to be a part of it. We're going to have our own little for these talented uh, youth that are coming up. They're gonna have their own kind of like a Motown where they can really expand on all of their talents with the backings of a, a venue like that that has it all. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna be big. We're gonna have a huge headquarters, skyscraper. I don't call it what you want. You can you can charge up your electric cars over there. We're gonna have a helicopter script. Uh, the guy with the orange hair ain't got nothing on us. Mar-a-Lago over there. We, 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 we about to put something down here in Atlanta, where it, it'll be a tourist attraction. People will travel from uh, all of the different continents to come see this, but it's for us. For all of all us, right. wherever we are, anywhere in That's the world, right. you'll be able to come to this venue because it's going to be ours. It's going to be ours. And so that's what I wanted to share with all of you Juneteenth people. You know, Juneteenth. We're excited. Juneteenth, Juneteenth, Juneteenth. And Juneteenth. Juneteenth stands for, what does Juneteenth stand for? Freedom. 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 That's the most powerful word, freedom. Because without freedom, there's nothing. And nobody can take your freedom oh, away from you. And we're going to stand strong. Unity. Juneteenth for everything. Unity. Love Great and devotion. Job. Great job. This was the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time. Y'all did. Oh, he said the most beautiful thing he's seen in a long time. Thank you. Oh, my God. That's what happened. You've been doing this Don't cry, years. Bob. Anyway, thank you, Mr. Bob and everybody. I just want to say one thing I forgot to say. Don't forget, I'm doing the Miss America Senior Pageant. The Miss America Plus Size Pageant. Senior Pageant is 50 and up. Plus Size they include little girls, teenagers, young women, and seniors. And as Leslie indicated earlier, the Miss Beautiful Bald Head. A lot Aww. of people lost their hair, and the hair do not make you. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for coming. I've been talking to him for years. You tell you the story. <laughs> Oh yeah, this lady right here, she, oh my goodness, I don't even know when or where, <laughs> but I know after, I mean, she is the most persistent, the most persistent and determined person, because you know, um, I don't consider myself to be anybody, you know, like special or important or nothing like that. We all are, you know, important, everybody, every last one of us, all the way down to this little baby right here to our eldest, eldest. And um, I do get a lot of phone calls though, and I'm always busy, because I'm always working. And, um, man, I mean, she, how were we connected and we talked, she told me she, that she had this, and man, I mean, you know, I'm just listening, and she told me what she had, and she wanted to team up with Juneteenth Atlanta, and do some stuff with Juneteenth Atlanta. She does all these great pageants, and. And, and, and so on and on and on. And I was like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then I went on doing what I do. This was years ago, years ago. And this kept on happening, you know, throughout the years. Like, I would get another call from her. She'd say, I've been trying to get in touch with you. You didn't answer my call. You know, that, that whole thing. Y'all know how that go. You know, and uh, we need to get together. We need to do this. We need to do that. Some more years went by. She calling all the time. I mean, this ain't no... 
this ain't no long in between. Like I got emails, text messages, voice messages, all the way up until this day. And now we are united, yeah. we are connected, and we are doing it international. We're doing it international. What she said about the headquarters and in the continent, and this Queen. is the headquarters here. You know, and we just gonna build this thing and we're gonna continue. But anybody with that type of persistence, I'm not even in any way surprised about how magnificent this was today because she got the spirit. And Miss Leslie. Oh, I want you to say that. I want you to say that. You want me to say it? American Sign Language? and American Sign Language. And I think that's a beautiful thing because American Sign Language